This is our review of the NECA Ultimate Nosferatu, a symphony of horror action figure. And there is the box. And this kind of, it goes along with the Universal Monsters. But I guess it's not really Universal, it's just a classic monster like a lot of the Universal Monsters are. So it still kind of works. I mean, when we display them, he usually gets stuck with them, so. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'm glad they did this. Uh, what is this? The, is this the 101st anniversary? 102nd? I forget. What was that? 1922. So this is 24. 102nd anniversary of Nosferatu. That's a nice picture there. I like that painting. I think he looks adorable. He does kind of look adorable there. The big eyes and the little ear tufts. He looks so <laughs> cute. <laughs> it's making me think of the Spongebob episode where he makes an appearance. Like, oh, Nosferatu. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets a big smile on his face. Then who was flickering the lights? Nosferatu! It also kind of reminds me of one of the really ugly cats that's adorable because it's ugly. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, nice picture of him there. His hat and his keys. Good picture there. Some more nice pictures there. And there's the bottom with a bunch of people on it. Who worked on this. I noticed it doesn't say Count Orlock anywhere on this box. I'm not sure if there's a reason for that. But I always just call him this for there anyway. I never really call him Count Orlock, but still, it's just kind of odd that it's not on here anywhere. And then you open it up. There's a really good picture. Reminds me of the doorway scene. And there is the figure. Oh, let's open him up. So there he is out of the package. And he comes with two alternate heads. The head he has on is kind of like a little creepy teeth showing head. And he's got the creepy smile. And then he's frowning. And he's also got his hat. And then he's got this bottle here. He's got four alternate right hands and two alternate left hands. We keep mentioning that in videos recently. That all these companies are racist against left-handed people. <laughs> I'm right-handed, so... Yeah, so am I. But still, I'm just saying, we always get a lot more right hands and left hands for a lot of figures. But he comes with his little ink inkwell and his uh, feather pen comes with a keychain keys and I believe this is probably the deed I'm guessing I just want to show the background insert picture it's a pretty cool little picture yeah, I don't know where this is from but I don't think it's from the movie if it is I don't remember that it suits him yeah it works there he is in front of that doorway that's cool. So I guess we'll look at the figure. He's looking really good. Like his outfit is pretty plain, but I mean that's how it was in the movie. For as plain as it is, they try to put some detail into it, the wrinkles and everything. Got all of his little what do you call these fasteners to keep his jacket. I don't know if they're just called buttons or I don't know what you call those. There's probably a specific name for them, but I can't think of what it is. Yeah. His uh, pants pretty plain, real nice and thin, like he is. Plain shoes, but there's still there's like sort of a weathering to them. Mm -hmm. but, uh, and the main thing about him is going to be his head sculpts. And his hands. Yeah, his hands too. Yeah. That head looks really good. I like the way his eyes are real nice and glossy. He's got big giant eyebrows. <laughs> His big nose. With your ear tufts. Yeah. And pretty, pretty good job sculpting his teeth. And the shading on him. That's one thing that really stands out on NECA's Universal Monsters is the shading and detail on the face sculpts. This looks really good. And same with this guy. And you're mentioning his hands. 
Well, these hands are a little more plain than some of them. But uh, he just has them long, like spidery fingers. And the different hands have different male lengths. Yeah. But yeah, these ones look really good. They're shading on them. A lot of vein details and wrinkles. Looks pretty good. And I switched the head to the grumpy head, and then two of the alternate hands, the long claws. This looks really cool. <laughs> and that grumpy head just—he <laughs> looks like you insulted him. I think he just looks disappointed. Yeah. I bet you guys liked me when I first knew you. <laughs> but yeah, I love them creepy hands. There's like an iconic scene where he's walking up the steps and you see the shadow. But that's really cool. And there is his more happy looking face. He switched his hands. He's more closed. Fingered hands. But I like that. I really like that hand sculpt too. I like all three hand sculpts. Mm -hmm. For these two heads, his ears stick out. And then for the grumpy head, they're more pressed up against his head. Which I'm guessing is to put the hat on. So there he is with the hat on. Normally I don't like the hat. But it's all the cat was just saying off camera. It's probably to hide his from the ears which makes sense even though as she also pointed out <laughs> still gonna look like a pretty weird guy <laughs> <laughs> I was like maybe it's to hide his ears and then when he stuck the hat on I'm like yeah he looks like a normal person now huh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the hat's done pretty well it's flexible you can't really get it on to the other two head skulls because of their ears sticking out you can do it, but it just... It wants to pop back up. Yeah. I'm also afraid if you keep trying to push it down, you get the blanks on his ears. Yeah. You also put the keys in his hand. That's cool. The keys are really nice looking, too. Maybe he's grumpy because everybody keeps making fun of his stupid hat. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> he was really proud of that hat, and everybody's like, you got a sack on your head? And he's like, hmm. <laughs> See the... He's got a real chain, and they're sculpted. They're different sizes. They're sculpted and painted pretty nice for how tiny they are. So there he is signing his paperwork. Yeah, I think he's buying the house. Here, signing the deed, whatever. There you go, his little bottle there. His inkwell, and he's writing with his quill on the paper. That bottle looks like a clarinet or something. <laughs> Or a vase. And that's called a symphony of the earth. And here's a look at the paper. I don't know if that's upside down or not. And then there's something on the back too. Oh. But they drew the house. Okay. Well, that's cool. Here's a look at the quill. Plain, or maybe just, just a quill. And you can stick the quill down into the inkwell. There's a little oh, hole in there. Cool. And here's the bottle, nice and shiny. Hole on the top. And there he is next to NECA's other Nosferatu figure, the Toonie Terrors. Basically, this has the creepy arm down pose. Well, you could stick it out, I guess. Stick his hands out with it's kind of like it down like that and there's Mezco's 112 collective Nosferatu they didn't make him as accurate they kind of stylized him which I really like it because it makes him look really, really creepy. cool yeah cool and creepy <laughs> like he's got the all black eyes like a rat or something ripped up outfit instead of the non ripped up version from the movie he looks feral yeah this one, I think, was trying to attempt to sort of be in society, but I don't think this one is. He's hiding out in the sewers or something. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> he's eating squirrels in your attic. 
here he is with my Mezco Velociraptu. They're old and Savage Creeper. Yeah, I've had that forever. I don't think I even realized it was supposed to be him when I bought it. It was just in a bag at a comic shop and had a bunch of rats. I'm like, I want him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's very stylized. Mm hmm. Very looks like the same character. We got a ton of rats. I always have to put a rat in his hand, too, because it's just shaped for it. Yeah. But that's cool, cool base. Two very different takes on the character. <laughs> yeah. And there's NECA's figure next to the caustic plastic Nosferatu, one six scale figure. And it's not a very fair comparison because this is a much more expensive figure. And way bigger. Yeah. <laughs> but it's still cool seeing them different takes on the figure so are you ready for everybody's favorite part of a toy review the articulation yeah yeah i hate doing articulation too but i feel like i got it sometimes there's a joint at the top of the neck and at the bottom of the neck so you can get a lot of movement out of there however this collar is going to hinder some of it then at the shoulders so this jacket is flexible so you can get some movement out, movement there. Still pretty good. Then at the elbow, I can go more than 90 degrees. And it can spin. Then the wrist can spin and there's a hinge. And the torso, it is flexible. The jacket is flexible, but I don't think you will be able to do too much there. Then down at the hips, do a little bit, but still all this jacket split in the back. So you can do a little bit there. Kick out not very far because of the jacket. Go back a little further if you want to do that for some reason. Uh, the leg can spin at the top of the thigh. And then it's probably spin down here at the knee too. Yep. And there's a hinge, goes to the about 90 and down at the ankle there's a hinge there do the tilt spin so he's got some good articulation except for where the jacket hinders it other than that it's pretty good so NECA did an awesome job on this figure just like they did with the Universal Monsters and like I said we still kind of consider him to go with them I mean they have their checklist of their different series of figures and he's on there with the universal monsters but yeah i like all three head sculpts i especially like the smiling one where he's looking to the side it's just a good one pretty much like that picture on the uh, front of the box and it's just a really good head yeah <laughs> and i like these long nail hands the best too i think yeah i like them too they just make them so much more creepier but he comes with appropriate accessories from the movie, like his quill and inkwell on the bottle and the deed and the keys and his hat. That all makes sense. The only other thing I could say is maybe he could have a coffin, but as NECA has done, they've made the coffins and things a separate accessory pack, so they might do that with him. He needs some rats. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A lot of the figures come with rats. Yeah, a lot of times I think of rats with him. So that would have been a cool accessory too, I guess. Yeah, the articulation is pretty good on him other than his jacket hinders, hinders it in spots, but that's kind of what you expect. The jacket is flexible, but it can only do so much unless they made it out of cloth. He doesn't look like a real athletic type of monster. Not really. <laughs> He's pretty. He walks pretty stiff in the movie. like. Stands in the doorway, he just looks like he's half dead, which he is. The doorway would be another cool thing, too. Caustic Plastic made that for their six skill. Make him a lot more expensive. Yep.
Yeah, I really like this figure. I think it's excellent. Yeah, I think they did a great job on it. It was cool. Yep. Well, best best GFT. And I'm the bucket. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.